One more pizza. Okay, hello. Okay, I'm doing... Uh, yes, dude, finally. I'm doing my, um, I've done all oh the starting gosh. thing, and I'm just getting into the game. Am I just... Begin what is phase. happening? Leaving dead space. I found a big yam... Two, you get us to a big one. Yam. The purpose of this tape is to test what automated going on, response dude? times and reactions oh, no, from vintage interactive attractions following audio stimuli. If you I are playing this tape, happen. that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as you were instructed to do, okay, so we do but also that you have found something that so meets maybe. the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph 4. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. <laughs> no. It's not okay, only no. audio prompts, they also do things that they're going to uh, go try to jump here. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, Maybe even jump two, scare. one. If, if they do anything weird, then, pre and then on the prompt results, do yes or unsure. If they don't do anything Document weird. results. No. Begin audio prompt in three, two, Can one. Can I click anything on baby? No. And you just have to do the audio prompt. You have a sheet and you have to press no, yes, or unsure. I just pressed everything. Oh, you're not supposed to do that, you're supposed to wait for the guy to say audio prompt complete. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Oh crap, the, the other creepy things over. The eyes opened. Uh, dude, this is like. I don't know if Baby's gonna do something or not. Wait, is there any jump scares in this? Yeah, there's jump scares. Okay. No, not in the first bit, or not in the first one. Okay. No, Baby, no, no, Baby. No, she's looking at me. I know. We get cut. Jump scare, okay. Happiness. You're the owner of Freddy Fazbear's. Wait a second. Predict. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee, such as atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate okay, additional revenue right every now. day, which means more okay, money in your pocket. Give me a bit, Ready uh, for I'll be reinvestment. Back. Health and safety. There may be times when you purchase something of questionable quality, and we don't blame you. Cutting corners is just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. This concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. Okay. Yeah, I've seen this in YouTube videos. Okay, so it's like a crap. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, that should be more than enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. 
You can unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between Catalog Mode and Blueprint Mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. Actually, I'm sure. 
they're quite they have quite a rough time together. Um they feel like I feel like that you would that he would just be there and he would um just they feel like the family that would keep growing their when they're stressed. And just basically you know go to Freddy Fazbear and never come back. Your restaurant is now officially open. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash. So don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. Oh, cool. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, on to other matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That won't be a problem if there is nothing in the vents. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you're drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly... Oh, cool. You also have Wait, three what? tools still... available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, you that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to it. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Oh, my, my, uh, my friend is really slow. 
Yeah. We're like, we have like, we have, this is, I feel like we're in the 1995 or something. No, we're 1988. Shush, second. You can if you shine your light to the vent. I know that if you look at the vent, then your light shines into the vent. Oh. I know it's really crap light. Yeah, it is a bad light. Hello. Nice go. Right. Can anything actually come down these reds at this time? Um, no, only on the second night, then you either choose an animatronic in your building, but not get any money, or you can salvage the animatronic and get money, but the animatronic will be in your building. Okay. Great then, job. Right. It so looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting right. you through oh, your you're first week. Day, except, There's like, a big party here Saturday, yeah, and I you should view that I day as your charges. ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. What's that? What was that? What? Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end of day routine, and that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often, and while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the salvage. You choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. I just got my flashlight if you out. do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance like this one checklist. Because there's not enough to worry During about. this testing phase, not much. check not on the animatronic me. frequently. If you feel that it is Pink becoming flash. unstable, use the taser provided to you. You can use it three times without damaging the Pink hardware. Flash. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. <laughs> Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley. We are unsure of its origins. What you look it is your noise? job That's to complete sad. the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or, if you choose to, you can throw it back into the alley where you found it and force so, like, it nothing comes on this first Please night. Please make your choice now. You have chosen to proceed with the maintenance checklist. Remember, use your company-issued taser to return the animatronic to a neutral state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. You can only use it three times before it begins to damage the animatronic and decrease its value. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. I activated one. music in the room. I wish I could activate it in the room. It's not room, it's bed. It's a room. Document it's a room. To activate audio. It's a vent. So nothing Document comes on the result. first night. Nope. Oh, yes. <laughs> I got jump scared. Look, dude, it says select a room to activate music. Oh, it's supposed to be, oh, I don't, it's supposed to be a bed. Oh, well. Oh, I 
dog to alive. I should be Turn off my bed so I can hear the music. Do you know that I've got um 900 900 pounds? What? Dude, I've only got 15 still. And could I be accepting the bond to the bench back on it? I don't know. I don't think so. I think the bench is just safer. I'm thinking. Oh, it's a I've activated silent ventilation. Oh, Spring Punch Cloud's more expensive than Lemonade Cloud. Neon Jukebox, I need to get that. Medical Station. Security doors. Boxed How can this flashlight be so bad? How can you have such a bad flashlight? I don't know. I think, I think they should have learned that flashlights are very important. I feel stupid because they're animatronics, like they're actual moving ones, they're not bucket heads. Really cool. Oh damn, I've got uh, an even bigger floor plan. Uh, oh, dude, how long did the first night last? There's no clock or anything. No, you have to complete, you have to complete all the things. Oh, I didn't put my ventilation on for ages, and it like, it got to like red, and then it started, and then my screen started to go red and all that, and the oh, temperature went. Oh, because you overheated. Yeah, it appears so. Okay, now I'm going back to normal. That's so much <laughs> I'm doing all the tasks. Yeah, right now I'm just playing a game for the and and detector. Right, I'm gonna end the video and record a new one. And then I'll put it right, out. Okay. Well, actually, I just forgot to start recording. Right, uh, start recording or something. This whole time you have been recording. So this is the end of the video, goodbye!